The gods are the gods, ruling thunder and commanding storms. They are the lords of night and day, of fire and ice, the givers of disaster and of triumph. A dark sky. The gods make the sky. It reflects their moods, and they were dark that day. It was high summer, and a bitter rain was spitting from the east. The old gods are still worshipped, of course, but they're being driven back into the high valleys, into the lost places, to the cold northern edges of the world. Thor and Odin walked on our hills, slept in our valleys, loved our women and drank from our streams, and that makes them seem like neighbours. The other thing I like about our gods is that they're not obsessed with us. They have their own squabbles and love affairs and seem to ignore us much of the time. I've never been so stupid as to think that Thor or Odin or Hoda loved me, though I hope at times they have thought me worthy of them. What well, the gods like is chaos. All my life I have followed the path of the sword. Given a choice, and I have been given many choices, I would rather draw a blade than settle an argument with words, for that is what a warrior does, but most men and women are not fighters. They crave peace. At the world's ending, when the gods will fight each other, all mankind will be stricken with a great frenzy and the rivers will flow with blood, and the sky shall be filled with screaming, and the great tree of life will fall with a crash that will be heard beyond the farthest star. But all that is yet to come. I touched Thor's hammer that hung from my neck. Weird Bithful Arad. Fate is inexorable. <laughs>